evening. We will be blessed by the great light in the dark garden.
in the midst of the evil Assyrians. Isaiah was not always to be there. Unto us a child is born. Seven hundred years after Isaiah wrote this, Matthew announces that the light has finally come. And leaving Nazareth, Jesus went and dwelt in the fertile by the sea in the country of Zebulun and Lachlan. The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali in the way to the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, of the peoples who are not of Israel, Anytime, but then God's glory 
will shine through the faces of darkness. When we say shine, I will say that the glory of God will shine like a great light in darkness. Brothers and sisters, that is a supernatural event. It is not a natural event. It's not going to happen naturally. Kung hindi natin dapat siguro kung ang aming mga gobyerno, ang aming mga leaders ay mag-iba or ano pa ba yung mga solution natin? Siguro pag tuyuluhan tayo ng nation na ito, na ito, we are thinking of big nations to help us, America, or what if this happens. But, you know, this is a supernatural thing. And a supernatural event can only be attained by prayer. Amen? It cannot be attained by um, wishing that we have a great uh, government leaders or that we change our, our economy, etc., etc. That's one of the solution. God's glory will shine in places of darkness supernaturally. And I think we are not really praying enough. But if we do, we are so powerful to create this change. That's why Isaiah said, don't worry. And he's saying that again to us. God is saying the glory of God can shine through darkness. What is Galilee compared to the whole world? For instance, Rome. But this is where the miracles of Jesus happen in Galilee. See, we mean about the whole world. At that time, they didn't even know. Assyria didn't know. There was a person walking in on water. And the sea did not dare to swallow Jesus. Supernatural events in places of darkness. And the winds know him and obey him. Even the winds obey him. When he said, be still, they obey. God is in a because they know who Jesus is. They know the voice of their Creator. Amen? So when you are walking in places of darkness, if you are living right now in a place of darkness, God is saying, wait, because the glory of God will shine. Amen? And it will be a supernatural event. Remember what miracles is? We can look at the video of the 5,000. How many of us are even worried about our food? Yes. Okay. So what about the economic budget? Always try to remember what happened in Galilee. And Sarah said, the night will be walking in darkness. And he will be multiplying food for the people. And he's going to do it for you. And it's my prayer that you will stop worrying about what you will eat, what you will drink, and what you will wear. So you know, if your budget, if you're very low on budget, and you aren't even expecting that you will spend so much next month, then you don't have the budget for it. Always remember this miracle, the feeding of the five thousand. The reason why God, why Jesus performed this miracle is this for us to believe. That he can do it and he will do it for us. Amen. Challenge Jesus. Lord, pagkita mo ko na yung mga matay ako, kasalanan mo yun, hindi na kasalanan mo yun. Amen? Amen. Because you can do it. You know, when we went to this place in Africa, right? That, that's the place. And uh, we were, I was able to buy a magnet, a refrigerator magnet that showed the loads and the bread. 
the fish and the, and the bread, and I got it and I put it on my refrigerator. And now, Where is he? 
And you can only do that because the Holy Spirit has anointed you with power. Amen. And hearing all who are being continually oppressed by the devil. That's what came out of the Sea of Galilee, the place of darkness, under the shadow of death. The great light appeared. Amen. So how many of you want to go to Galilee? Amen? Yes. God will change your dishonor. 
agenda of the nation, the family of the nations is basically Asia. Because you do not have a lot of foreigners. So can you imagine, instead of, um, like, for instance, here, instead of a Christian nation, we will be overwhelmed by pagan nations, pagan uh, leaders, pagan people all, all over. That's what happened to them. And yet, where is this government? And they were filled with false messiahs, Jewish messiahs. But they say that Jesus' government will sit upon, shall be upon his shoulders. What does it mean? So I made a little research. So I mean, what does it mean for, for the government to be sitting on the shoulders? It just means that it, it was an expression that I during the time. It meant that all the responsibilities of governance sat on his shoulders. God, Jesus, will rule and he will be in charge of all of our affairs. Amen? So when you are praying for our government, remember that Jesus' government is more powerful, it's higher, that something Jesus is on my shoulders. How will I will carry you? Can you imagine? We have to change our perspective about politics. About politics. During the time of Jesus, the people, the, the government was more evil than what we have now. And Jesus just went about looking for first. I mean, acts of kindness. That's what he did. He just went about doing acts of kindness, giving everyone and releasing everyone from the works of the devil. And when I mean, powerful government of Rome, incidentally, they became a Christian nation. What I mean, but the government of Jesus still lives on. In fact, what does the next verse say? Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Amen. The increase of his government and peace. He started with 12 disciples, and now we have millions of Christians. And still growing, just like the master said. Jesus said, the kingdom of God started now, but it's going to spread out and it's going to be the greatest dream, the biggest. And it says, the prophecy says, there will be never-ending peace and there will be never-ending expansion. So all of you are in the ministry, whatever it is you're doing, it will never end and it will expand. <laughs> Israel defeated 
think that all of these extensions, then they give an expansion. Eight times large. Three, three times large. Brothers and sisters, that's because of the policy the night has gone on this way. Amen. And that is what's going to happen with us. We are protected by the great light from heaven. And that light is shining all around the world. Following even the Philippines, following even us, even you right now. The light of Jesus. Amen. From the day God gave this man, this small man from Abraham. You know how funny? There are no more Babylonians, no more Persians, no more Assyrians, no more Greeks, no more Romans, but Israel is still there. And a lot of um, uh, these nations, they have only one prayer and one goal, to destroy Israel from the world now. Is it going to happen? It's not going to happen. Because Israel is a supernatural creation of God. Amen. Just like you and me. We were born supernaturally when we received Jesus. We were born again. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, no matter what's happening to Israel, it's the power of God is increasing and it's something with you, no matter how small you are. No matter how significant, even if you are surrounded by giant enemies, the great light from Galilee shines upon you. You are ever increasing. So we know you meant that. You are ever untouchable. You are ever undefeatable. Jesus' government will never.